It says that those who desire true wealth should strive to be godly. It's not wealthy. Strive to be godly. Can you say godly? And content. Can you say content? With what you already have. That cancels out greedy, doesn't it? That shuts up Satan, doesn't it? When he offers you all kind of stuff. You cannot be tempted by what you don't want. Yeah. Back that up and say it again. You cannot be tempted by what you don't want. Amen. Now, let God, by His Spirit, create a godly heart in you, and you're free and safe yes. from all of this mess. Amen. Yes, what does the passage say? Yeah. It says, those who desire true wealth mm. to strive to be godly and content with what they already have. Yeah. We are instructed in the passage to be content with the basic necessities of life. Yeah. Now that's hard in a consumeristic, capitalist nation like America, where we always have to have the newest gadget, yeah. and the best gizmo, and the this and the that. Yeah. But the Bible says, and you got to decide what you are most. Yeah. Are you mostly an American capitalist, capitalist or are you mostly a Christian? Yes, amen. That's what we must decide. Amen. The Word of God says, be content with the necessities. Yes. There are nations where people would love to eat what we throw out in garbage yes. every day. Yes. They would fight for your garbage. Yes, yes we are so blessed in the nation. Yes. This scripture urges us, not to desire to be wealthy. Yes, sir. It tells us don't desire wealth. Yes. Because those who do are bound for destruction. Yes. That's the word that's used. Yes. Destruction. Yes. It says, and we are given the precise penalty and the bad end reserved for those who lust after wealth. Mm -hmm. We're not only cautioned strongly not to desire to be wealthy, we're also shown what happens to those who succumb to this temptation. Yeah. This is the exact opposite mm -hmm. of what the prosperity pimps are pushing at you Sunday after Sunday. Mm -hmm. They insist that anyone who does not want to be rich is either lying or crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't want to be rich, so I guess I'm crazy. Because I'm definitely not lying. What I want is always to have what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yes, I want what I need. Yes. I have no desire to be rich in material wealth. I already told you, I probably would spend it all, give it away. I don't know how to be rich, not interested. These pimps would say that I'm lying to you. They would say that I'm not gifted at accumulating wealth because I don't follow their system for generating money through the use of certain scriptures. Ooh. <laughs> Saints, that's magic. Pure and simple, that's magic, y'all. Any religion that tries to control the deity through the possession of hidden knowledge or the utterance of certain incantations is magic by definition. I don't want to control God. Why? Because I'm not a fool. You cannot control Him. Amen, amen. Anyone who tries to control God falls upon the rock that is Christ and they're going to be crushed. Yes, yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Now, this is magic that they're doing and the fact that it's being done with the Holy Bible does not make it any less magical. Amen. These pimps and, mad and madams, rather, are biblical magicians trying to control God by twisting His Holy Word. See, that's how you control the deity in magic. You figure out what the deity has said. When I say deity, I mean God, of course. Yes. What the small g God has said. And then you catch Him in His own Word and make Him do what you want. That's what magic is. And that's what these pimps and madams are telling you to do when they give you certain scriptures and say, read this and do this, and I guarantee you're going to be rich. Can you say magic? magic. No, that's, that's not Christianity. Yeah. That's magic. Yeah. They're brainwashing people. It is plain and simple 
brainwashing, they're robbing people blind. The pure truth of God's word revealed in this passage is that those who lust after wealth are easily pulled down into perdition and destruction by their cravings for money, power, and position. Can you say money, power, and position? Now, of course, you will pass or prove what you said. Well, I, I don't know if I can prove it to your uh, satisfaction, but here goes. What you need to see is that it is not just the men and women who preach this garbage who are lustful for wealth. The millions who populate their pews are just as lustful after money as the prosperity pimps and madams are. That's why they're sitting there taking it all in. That's why they got their pen and notepad out, writing it all down. So they can go and, and mumble the magic and read the scriptures and do the stuff. And guess what? The only one getting fat and rich is the pastor. Everybody else struggling. And when they don't get rich, guess what? It's because you didn't do it right. You didn't say it right. You didn't pray right. You didn't, you didn't read the right scripture enough times. You know, there's an endless amount of excuses you can level at the victim and say that it's your fault that it didn't work for you. Clearly you must not be one of the anointed ones because if you were, you'd be rich like I am, Diamond's Flash. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, my friends. That's why the gullible are drawn to those churches and laugh to scorn anyone who would suggest that they come to a humble little church like Ephesians Baptist. They laugh themselves silly to think about coming here when they could sit in some huge temple somewhere and be lied to. What does the Apostle James say concerning this under the anointing in his epistle? He says, listen y'all, let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one, I love his pure word, each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Those who lust after money are being enticed and blinded to the truth by their own lustful desire after wealth. Wake up, blind, lusty fools, yeah. before it's too late. Yeah. Satan is beguiling you, yeah. and he's using your own greed to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Satan has not attempted to entice me into this prosperity nonsense? I grew up hearing this garbage. Yeah. I came of age as a minister hearing this stuff. Yeah. Week after week, Sunday after Sunday, he tried to enlist me. Amen. But he failed because yeah. I have the victory yeah. through our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Something deep within yeah. won't let me believe it. Hallelujah. Something within yeah. is holding the reins. Yeah. Yeah. And when I would go into the wrong thing, yes, it pulls me back to the right. I can't resist it. The Holy Spirit within me tells me yes. that this is a lie. Yes. It's a lie. Yes. And the Holy Spirit will not allow me to be drawn into this cesspool. Amen. The Bible says you are to test the Spirit yes. by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Even before I knew of the passage we're working on today and how it could be used to reveal the truth and undo the lies of the prosperity pips, the Holy Spirit had already told me that this is wrong. I already know it's wrong. And then I look for the Word to show that it's wrong. Because the Spirit told me already this is a lie. You test the Spirit by the Spirit. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, this is bogus. Because the Holy Spirit dwells within me. I believe that it was bogus first. Huh? And then God revealed to me the scriptures that I can use to debunk the house of lies that the pimps and madams have built. The Spirit knows that these people are liars and charlatans. Those who belong to God 
cannot be pulled into this mess. Yeah, and that's how you know that those millions who follow it are not truly Christian, mm -hmm. not truly born again, yeah. not truly spirit led. Mm -hmm. Because if they were, that funny feeling that I have, yeah. they would also have. Yeah. That's something that won't let me believe it. Yeah. Even when I listen to it. Yeah. And it sounds good to my ear. Yeah. And he got that croon when he preaches. Yeah. And he sounds so good. That's just, That's just a siren song. Uh -huh, pulling you to destruction. Uh -huh. Don't you believe it. Now, here's main point number two. I promise you we'll be done soon.